for about like eight pesos each. I don't know what the price is now. This is back then. Until somebody came by and said, Gil, are you selling those bricks? I said, I mean, the hollow blocks? I said, sure. I mean, yeah, why not do it myself? So I looked into it. Pretty much, we bought two molds. Each mold was about... Good morning, guys. So I'm off to work again. And today, in my pretty much like a three-part series of what I'm doing, I'm going to be talking about the, my um, how I got into the hollow block business. Uh, I already did the pedicab. I already did the hollow block. I already did the um, the DJing. I mean, and then today I'll be covering uh, the hollow block. So I hope you like these videos. This is a quick synopsis of the things that I have gotten into uh, throughout my uh, to, throughout my life. And uh, if you don't mind, please hit that like button. Helps the channel a lot. Subscribe, and more importantly, comment down below. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so this is my first take on hollow blocks. So I want to briefly go over the things about certain businesses that I have done, and I want to discuss how the hollow block business. Some people have scaled it up to the point where they have the egg laying production and or the machine that shakes it in there and then I think it's like good for four but you need like the templates to uh, bring it up and you know things like that. I started very simple, um, man, not really not man made but um, I guess man manipulated as play on words. Basically it's a one for one like one person makes one one block uh, with this little uh, device that uh, it's a mold pretty much. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. I really appreciate it with your stories about hollow block business or anything like that. So, this is pretty much a quick synopsis of how I started the hollow block business. So, back in, I'm going to say 2010, I was planning to, um, Ruby and I just were married for about two years, and we uh, needed to build, or I wanted to build uh, a kitchen. A proper kitchen in her old house so that's the house I live in now and that's ever since then we've been adding on to it because nobody nobody wanted to put money into it so pretty much um I said to myself why am I gonna pay uh, the, the companies to to deliver all these hollow blocks for these new for this new project why not do it myself so I looked into it pretty much we bought two molds each mold was about I think about about 10,000 pesos at that point in time. It might be cheaper now. Um, I had I had no knowledge of how, however, this um, this this happened. Uh, I pretty much did it just to mitigate the cost of, you know, saving a little bit here and there to maximize my um, my build. So pretty much that's how I got into the hollow block business. So I had two guys, and they were making hollow blocks for me. You know, for the project. And um, I believe I paid them by the sack with, the, you know, by, by how many um, sacks um, they can finish in a day. And I believe with a, de with a decent mixture, not the ones where you just pick it up and it breaks. I, you can probably make about 50 to 60 uh, um, per sack, like decent, decently strong uh, bricks. Um, I'm sure the ratios are different for everybody else. That was, that was the ratio that I was doing to make sure that they were solid bricks. So going forward, these guys were making so many bricks for me and I kept paying them out. And then they were finishing the house. I had an excess amount of bricks. I mean, like at least, I think it was like more than 20% of whatever I ex estimated the uh, project would be. So I had all these bricks laying there at the house on the side of the house until somebody came by and said, Gil, are you selling those bricks? I said, I mean the hollow blocks? I said, sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I told Ruby, like, this, this, we're not using it. So basically, I sold them for about like eight pesos each. I don't know what the price is now. This is back then. And pretty much that started the hollow block thing. So pretty much people realized that, oh, this guy's selling bricks. They kept coming to the house and I kept selling them. And I brought the two guys back again to keep making bricks for me. And then after a while, I just kept, it just kept um, making bricks and bricks and it kept rolling. Um, I stopped the business because... I, I just lost interest in it. You know, I pretty much used it for what it was and I had to take some money and focus on another business that we had, which I, I it was probably stupid of me. 
to continue. Plus, around that time, it just got too costly. A good majority of my money was going into Piapi, which is the building that you see here. And Ruby and I put like a hundred thousand plus dollars into that, so I couldn't uh, put money into the the hollow block business. But generally speaking, the molds that I purchased were about like ten, I think it's ten to twelve thousand a piece. I don't know what they are now, but pretty much that started that situation, and I just had the bricks uh, stacked up there. That is something I will want to revisit in the very near future, but not in that way. I want, um, you know, I might probably end up buying a machine just to, you know, make bricks and stuff like that because I want to be in a position where, especially with the, um, with the airport coming, there will be times where it's going to run short, where they're going to need little pick-me-up, um, like equipment, equipment. Uh, uh, products, supplies, and stuff like that. So I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna ride that coattail, if I, if I can say that, uh, that bandwagon as it's on the climb as they're doing uh, construction. So I'll have a stockpile of things there on the property, um, as far as rebar, angle bars, uh, welding rods, and things like that, and things that are um, pertaining to the construction of the airport. And I know already when that happens. There's going to be a boom of construction in within the within and around the town. So if I can be one of the suppliers for that situation that's going to happen, I really like it. So that's why I'm contemplating whether I'm contemplating whether to get into the business, and that's why I'm considering going to the business very soon. But logistically, I want to set it up properly, and uh, financially, I want to have enough money in the bank to finance, you know, it for at least six months before you know before getting customers because um, I want to stockpile everything before going forward. And then if I, ever get a, if I ever get a big order, at least something sitting there to get out, and then I'll have another set of um, you know, blocks to be pushed out throughout the day. Because the machine I do want to get, I'm, I'm thinking about getting the egg laying machine. It theoretically, optimistically, it produces about, I believe a thousand bricks in eight hours. So that's something for me to consider. If not, if I go the other route, I think it does four bricks, but the problem is it's manual, so you still need somebody there. The egg laying machine, I think you can do it with a two-man operation. The other, excuse me, the other type of machine, I believe it might take two or three men, but we'll see what happens. I'm still looking more into the business, but the hollow block business, generally speaking, especially now, ever since uh, BPO started coming to Dumaguete, building has gone up. Um, you know, and I believe I could be wrong when Dumigetti got on the Forbes list, that's when buildings started going higher, building supplies started getting more expensive. So definitely it is a business that I think that you guys can do. I'm sorry if I talk too fast because I'm just, and I don't drink coffee like that. So I drink coffee from time to time, but not like that. But hopefully that quick video helped you out a little bit. If you need any questions pertaining the hollow block business, and certain mixes that I have done to make it a little bit thicker at the same time still save money where you still can make a little bit of a little profit off the bricks of, of the blocks hit me um, hit me up because um the only thing I see wrong about bricks in the Philippines especially locally made once you pick them up they break and uh, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about um, other than that uh, yeah the construction habits of how the Philippines works I don't want to really understand why like they have these really cheaply made bricks they stack it and then they throw more cement on it which kind of is like a it's like a it's like counterproductive if i can say that but you know hopefully with uh these bricks that i want to make i want to get the mixture to the point where i'm making money at the same time giving quality so profit i'm not really concerned about profit per block it's more profit per like, bunch because at the end of the day quality will go over quantity at the end of the day because quality over quantity is I'm really focused on. So even if I have 10 customers opposed to 30 customers, at least my 10 are happy and I get referrals off of that. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video and gave you some type of value, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, give it a thumbs down. What can I do? I'm going to be making these videos and just trying to get it out of my brain and then, you know, putting it on YouTube and on, on the channel, do my life. But uh, if you can, Go to uh, classifieds.ph. It's my other website where I'm trying to build up. So, you know, it's a classifieds ads website. But uh, thank you. Take care. God bless and stay safe. Bye.